next grammar point is relative clauses. A relative clause is a sentence that fits into a larger sentence as a modifier. Let's take an example in English. I was not home when my friend came. The part when my friend came, which is in red font here, it is a relative clause. A relative clause in English is usually connected to the main sentence with a question word. In this case, the question word is when. Hindi has a range of relative words that are used to make relative clauses. Let's take the same English sentence translated into Hindi. In the Hindi sentence, you can see the word jab, and the word jab is relative, and the sentence is the relative sentence. In English, the relative and question words are the same, but in Hindi, they are a little different. In the example above, in English, we have when, which is without a context, a question word, but in this context, it is not a question. In the Hindi sentence, the word is jab, and it is clearly not a question word. The English language does not make any distinction between the relative and question words in morphology. It is when in both cases, but the meaning is clearly different. Hindi, on the other hand, makes clear distinction between question and relative words in morphology too. They are kab and jab. Kab is a question word and jab is a relative word. Here, I'll give you some examples of question words and relative words in Hindi and in English. Here in this table, you can see that in English, both the question words and the relative words are the same. In Hindi, there's a clear distinction. Here are the question words and these are the relative words. So where in English is both question and relative, but in Hindi, kaha is the question. And when it comes in the function of a relative, it becomes jaha. The same goes with when. The question word is kab, the relative is jab. The next one is what and who are kya and kon, but in relative it's the same, jo. For whom, kiske liye, the question, jiske liye, the relative. With whom, kiske saath, that's question, jiske saath, that's relative. Here in Hindi, you can see a pattern. In Hindi, all the question words start with ka, like kaha, kya, kab, kiske saath, kiske liye, and all the relative words starts with ja. Jaha, Jab, Jo, Jiske Liye, Jiske Saath, etc. Let's take some example sentences with Jo. Jo can be translated as who or what in the meaning of relative. Jo yaha ek bar aata hai, wo hamesha lotta hai. Whoever comes here once always comes back. Jo uncha urta hai, wo hi niche girta hai. The person who flies high falls down. Jo tumko chahiye, wo mere paas nahi hai. The thing that you want, I don't have it. Jo cheez chamakti hai, wo hamesha sona nahi hoti. That which shines is not always gold. Jo mehnat karta hai, wo hi phal paata hai. He who works hard gets the result. The relative word jo can behave like an adjective. In that sense, it will be translated as which in English. Keep in mind, the word which here is not the question word, but the relative one. Let's take some examples. Jo khana maine mangaya, wo bohut tez hai. The dish that I ordered, which I ordered, is too spicy. Jo khilone pitaji lai, ve bohut mehenge hai. The toys which father brought are very expensive. Note that the relative clause in Hindi usually appears in the beginning of the sentence. That means the sentence always starts with jo, the relative word. Let's now take some examples of the relative words with jis and jen. The English translation will usually be whom. Jisko main ek bar dekh leta hoon, usko kabhi nahi bhulta. I do not forget anyone I meet once. Literally, whom I see once, I never forget. Jis ladki ke liye usne phool kharide, wo nahi aai. The girl he brought flowers for, for whom he brought flowers, did not come. Jis mez ke paas hum baithe, wo bhoat badi aur bheed bhaad wali thi. The table which we sat next to, next to which we sat, was very large and crowded. Jinke paas kaapiya nahi hai, ve haath khade kare. Anyone who does not have a notebook, raise your hand. The literal translation is, whoever does not have a notebook, raise your hand. Jiske liye maine khana banaya, ve nahi aaye. The ones I made the food for did not come. Literally, for whom I made food, they did not come.
Let's now take some example sentences with the relative word jab. The English translation would be when. Jab bhi sir dard ho to dawai lena. Whenever you have a headache, you take the medicine. Jab usne mujhe dekha, tab usne bataya ki uska naam Geeta hai. When she saw me, she told me that her name was Geeta. Jab se yaha aya hoon, tab se mujhe bahut kaam hai. I have a lot of work since I have come here. Since when I have come here, I have a lot of work. जब मैं भारत में था तब साइकिल से स्कूल जाता था वन आई वॉज इन इंडिया आई यूज टू गो टू स्कूल विद माई बाइक जब तक तुम मेरे पैसे नहीं दोगे तब तक मैं नहीं जाऊंगा आई विल नॉट लिव अंटिल यू गिव मी माई मनी 